When I learned that Clay Busters made a three-quarter ounce 12-gauge wad, I wondered if I could find a load which would function my gas-operated semi-automatic shotgun. And if I could, that would be a very light recoiling load, especially in a 12-gauge shotgun, which would be heavier than the smaller gauges. And it might be useful for children or anyone else who did not want to tolerate the recoil of full power 12 gauge loads. So I started trying loads and I probably tried a couple of dozen and uh, I looked for some factor that would tell me which loads would likely work which would not. What I really needed was gas port pressure but I don't have any way to, to measure that. So I looked at high pressure in the load and there seemed to be some correlation between a high pressure load and able to function the shotgun properly. I go to the Hodgson Reloading website, click on Shotgun, select 12 gauge, I like Remington plastic shells, 2 and 3 quarter inch, select lead shot, 3 quarter ounce, and tight wad, and I get the data. The load I prefer that works for me is this Remington 209P primers, the CB0175-12 wad, 18 and a half grains of tight wad, 10,200 PSI and 1,300 feet per second. That's the load that works for me. I ground out the inside of my powder bushing to get exactly the powder charge listed in the load. If you're going to do that be careful. You don't want to use this bushing without measuring the powder drop from it if you're using it for a different powder. I'm going to load this on my single stage press, a Pondness Warren Model 375. 